even talking about it now makes me feel super awkward. Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about the story behind this necklace since a lot of other makers were asking me about it. At the beginning of this COVID-19 crisis I felt afraid, worried, scared, nervous. Yeah, all these kind of negative emotions. And I know I'm not the only one because I saw a lot of people sharing stories on social media talking about this, how they felt for example that their jobs were not meaningful and I could totally feel all those fears, all those feelings, I could totally feel where that was coming from but at the same time I didn't want fear to take over the control and I felt some kind of energy to don't give up, keep on going, um, this is not going to make you lose your business and everything you have worked for and all of that. Um, so I tried to listen to that energy and focus on the positive things because everywhere online you could see that people were yeah, sending out messages of love and thankfulness, gratefulness and we're all in this together vibe. One of the things you you were seeing a lot were people sharing pictures of uh, them making a heart shape with their hands and uh, then I, I started getting a lot of comments from followers, from friends, family who were telling me hey you should really do something with that because I just finished um, a design of two hands making a heart shape as a necklace. People were telling me, wow, this would be such a lovely gift for somebody who is working in an essential job. Or just to say, hi, I love you, I still think about you, even though we cannot see each other. Um, so yeah. I, I thought if somebody else is telling me I should do something with that, I totally should. But I don't know how to explain it, but I'll try. I feel like that I don't want to be too salesy and too pushy and like, look at me, you know the vibe. But at the same time, I know that this is my job and not my hobby. So I have to sell my work and Whenever I talk about this topic with other small business owners, creatives or artists, I think 99% of the time they're completely the same. Even talking about it now makes me feel super awkward, but I know that I am not the only one. Okay, so try to focus on the story. So yeah, everybody was telling me you should do something with that. And then my family told me, maybe you should write a press release or something. And I was thinking I really wanted to give something to a good cause. So I went online looking for organizations who do something to help people who work in um, the essential jobs. And I found an organization that is well known here in Belgium who is uh, financially supporting the healthcare during this COVID-19 crisis. I thought that this foundation is perfect to donate to right now. So once I found that and I contacted them and asked them if it's okay, if, if I wrote about it in my press release because I wanted to donate money and of course they said yes. Um, I started writing a text. It's sometimes hard to just talk or write about your own work, it often really helps if you get somebody else in there as well to help you with it. Um, so in my case that was my brother, he was uh, rewriting my text and helping me to make it look more like a press release. And then once that was ready, uh, I made a page on my website um, with that press release uh, text and then included images and a link to to where to buy it and the information about the foundation as well of course yeah and then i sent that link to the page um, 
to some regular email addresses I collected over the years from magazines, newspapers, radio stations, things like that. I know that those kind of email addresses are not the ones where it's easy to have somebody open the email, I think, uh, because so many people probably write emails to that email address. So I uh, also asked anyone I could think of to help me get the word out. And actually a lot of friends did and I am super thankful for that. It really helps if people are like cheerleading uh, when you are stepping out of your comfort zone. And I really also believe that stepping out of your comfort zone is the only way to grow, or at least for me it is. Um, I thought there is nothing to lose, I can only try and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does, then it might save my business and help me through these hard times and at the same time I could help and donate money to a good cause which is something that I wanted to do for a long time with my business but there was never um, a possibility for me to do that financially it worked because during the next days it was picked up it was in uh, two newspapers i also had a short radio interview on telephone they have never had so many orders in two days uh, i mean online orders that was good in so many ways the only thing was that i didn't had a lot of inventory because i usually only make a few pieces and then whenever my inventory is low i create more uh, like me made, made to order actually now I really had to make a lot while at the same time most of my regular suppliers are closed um, I needed to think out of the box but it, it worked and like I said it helped my business I could also give and donate money and at the same time something that I didn't expect I am really touched and moved by all the stories customers are sending me a lot of people who order they also write me an email telling me how much they like the design and why they want to buy it or who they want want to buy it for like for example a family member is working as a nurse and has a really hard time or yeah they want to give it to somebody who is alone and when they skype they always make this symbol and yeah, all these stories, they make me realize that my, my job is meaningful and I know I'm not saving lives, um, but yeah, it feels like a privilege to be able to create something with my own hands that I know means a lot to customers and yeah, that to me is... Um, such a gift that yeah i don't have the words for it <laughs> um yeah i'm just really thankful i also see that 90 percent of the people who ordered which most of them are um are new customers they didn't know my work before um 90 percent of them subscribe to my newsletter and it makes me think about how i can keep this momentum going or I don't know how they say that <laughs> um, I, I hope you know what I mean I know I should do something with it and I know I should write emails and newsletters um, but I also know that it scares me and email marketing I still don't really know how to do it uh, in a good way that I feel comfortable doing it and that it has some kind of impact. I don't want to be pushy, I don't want to be salesy, but at the same time I do want to sell my jewelry, of course, because I want people to wear it. But so yeah, I'm thinking about that side of the business and then I am struggling with finding a way in how to do wholesale because up until now i have always had my own uh, store like a brick and mortar shop and then my online uh, store so i always sold direct to customer and i got some uh, interest from stores 
but I noticed that most of them want to work with consignment and I really don't want to do that. It's just not the way to go for me and my business. So yeah, that's also something I am kind of struggling with and I just want to open up about that because yeah, uh, this video is already me being awkward talking about things that make me, make me uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, why not also throw in some email marketing awkwardness and wholesale struggle, I don't know what I'm doing shit. Uh, oops. Um, so, so yeah. Um, let me know how you guys who are also running a small or creative business are dealing with all these issues. Um, I re I'm really um, curious about it. I think that was it for this video, but I really want to add, please stay home. I hope you are safe and healthy and yeah, take care of yourself and your loved ones. That's the most important there is. And I really, really hope that you also stay creative and find the energy to see the positive things, see how the world connects. On so many levels people are really sharing the love and spreading the love and yeah <laughs> I don't know um, okay I really need to end the video because I'm like <laughs> uh, so I will see you soon oh uh, like the video if if uh, no thumbs up if Oh my god thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and if you want to see more about um, the behind the scenes of running a small creative business I will see you soon bye Were you nervous? Uh, yes, I, I am. Mm -hmm. Just so you know.